Hello everybody, it's Mike Sanders again. I'm here talking about my weekly blog. Today's topic is UAE and the GCC region. In the United Emirates, they're in tremendous growth expansion. The country itself has been, in the past year, sending a lot of its um, Emiratis out of the country for tourist medicine. Now, there is such fine facilities, medical facilities, within the UAE, both existing in the and in the development process that the government has allocated over the next several years 19.5 billion dirhams. There is a tremendous race going on at this time to see who can build the best facilities to address the healthcare needs in the following areas, ophthalmology, orthopedics, diabetes, women's health, surgery, and etc., which are probably because of the high CRGs that they have here. In the population itself, there is tremendous need because of the obesity of the population that there is a lot of diabetes and weight loss uh, that needs to occur from that perspective. Right now, there is a project going on that I'm currently working with. It's a 141-bed facility. It's managed by a premier world-class European organization. And frankly, it's scheduled to open uh, through its commissioning process for the quarter of this year. That will be a new addition, but the other players within the marketplace are also doing similar because they're trying to upgrade its facilities, which they are doing tremendously. Now there are over 75, 95% of the facilities are JCI International Credited. HUD, which is the Housing Authority, has spent a tremendous amount of time and money actually surveying the world, trying to analyze what the best healthcare systems are. And I think they're very close to finalizing that. They've got an active process to go forward. So with that, with the financing of all of this, it's made it even more easier to build these facilities because the government has allocated very low interest rates. Within the Saudi Arabia market, it's equally the same. They've been at it a little bit longer, but many of their organizations that are publicly traded and the government facilities are moving forward to upgrade their facilities. They're in the process of doing that in Qatar, Doha, exactly the same. And within the MENA region, um, there is tremendous opportunity. Thank you for listening to my healthcare blog. We'll speak to you later. Stay tuned for further developments.